2018, Industry Realization Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya described a trade relations between the two countries as unacceptable over Tanzania's decision to block Kenyan goods from accessing its market despite meeting all the necessary requirements. Conversely, on January 28th this year, Kenyan traders expressed their disgruntlement on social media over constant harassment by Tanzanian authorities who urged the Kenyan government to retaliate, claiming that Kenya has allowed her neighbor to renege on an agreement struck by President Uhuru Kenyatta and his Tanzanian counterpart John Magufuli that committed to end the animosity. Speaking on Monday, Mr. Kipto hoped that the two will come to an agreement to solve the impasse while explicitly underscoring that Kenya will only retaliate when it has exhausted all other available options and when the move will be deemed necessary. In February 2018, President Uhuru Kenyatta and Magufuli directed their minister to convene an urgent meeting to end the uneasy trade ties. There has been progress, as Kipto explains, but it has been hampered by emerging tensions over movement of select goods. Moving on, Talo Oil will invest over 300 billion shillings to construct 800 kilometer crude oil pipeline. The investment, which is expected to last three years, will see the company spend 200 billion shillings to sink 36 wells and 100 billion shillings on the planned pipeline. Take a look. Oil reserves around the Lokichara Basin in Turkana County seven years ago. The basin currently is estimated to contain around 560 million barrels of probable oil reserves. The government, in partnership with Tyler Oil, embarked on a pilot project to transport crude oil from Lokichara to the Mombasa port in July last year and has since exported 80,000 barrels of oil. Tyler Oil expects to increase the amount of oil it transfers from Turkana to Mombasa to 2,000 barrels per day by April this year. Talo Oil says it will invest more than 200 billion shillings in 36 oil fields in the Trukana region to make the planned 800-kilometer pipeline commercially viable. Petroleum Principal Secretary Andrew Kamau says the pipeline will be a joint venture between the government, French oil company, Total, and Africa Oil. It's not something that we want to burden the economy with. We can get additional funds to go out and build additional infrastructure. That is more the, the aim. Um, I know some people, it's anathema to have your crude exported and then you import refined product. But at the end of the day, if you can import refined product cheaper than you can refine it yourself, that's what makes more sense. Talo Oil Kenya Chief Martin Bogo says the company expects commercial framework agreements from the government and deals over land acquisition for the planned 800-kilometer pipeline and oil field infrastructure before June this year. Last year, Talo Oil invited bids for drilling 300 wells in the initial phase of production of crude oil. The company says it will raise the funds through a mix of internal funding and investment from external financial. Reporting for Y254 Business News. My name is Miriam Mas.